We are now live. So we're waiting for the people to start jumping on. I know it's very, I'm cutting it close. People who are, I'm still holding the camera. I'll put it in the mountain just a second. I'm going to see if I get anybody to come on live. It's 1030. We are central time, right? Yeah, we're central. All right. Oh, we got one. Lauren, Lauren, I knew I'd get you guys. Hi, Laura Bergman. Hey, guys. I know I'm cutting it very close on the East Coast time. It's uh, 1030. Hi, guys. Here's Robbie. Hey, guys. Hi. Karen Wall. How are you, Karen Wall? Amanda Furman. Amanda, what are you doing, Miss Mother of the Century? She's Amanda is my uh, trusty, wonderful associate. Uh -huh. And she's not feeling well. And she has three kids. And she's still going to show up tomorrow to go to the school with me. Amanda, you're amazing. But go to bed in a very non, uh, uh, wait, what's the word I'm looking for? Patronizing way. Stacy, hi, Stacy. We're uh, go, going to sleep. Oh, but you're going to watch me, though, for 15 minutes. Okay. Hey, guys, I have a reason why. Good night. Oh, she is. She's hanging up. She's going to sleep. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. It was really fun having you, Amanda. Good night. Okay. Hey, Karen, I, I want to show you guys something. And here's Jenny. And here's Brian. Hey, Brian. How you doing, man? All right, so I came to Minneapolis, right? And I'm all keyed up. I'm all just freaking out because I'm with really good friends. Okay, here's Ken. Wait, Ken. There's Ken. I'm at his in his beautiful house. And then here's his special friend. You know, she's Indian. And now this is why I want to move back to India. Okay, this you remember, remember? Didn't he raise give me a heart? Give me a happy face. Okay, give me give you, give me a fist bump. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you're, you're just she's just so wonderful and just beautiful inside and out but she her in see the it's a beautiful Indian that's why I fell in love with every Indian woman I met in India I was bumping into walls every like all day long so that's why I want to move to India and that's why I'm going to marry an Indian woman because they love me at least they they put up with me and they're really polite right <laughs> that they, they, they wouldn't they like here in America they go oh you're kind of obnoxious and they they're, oh, you're so funny. You're so sweet. Hey, Chad, how are you guys doing? Uh, we have Tammy. Okay, so anyways, um, again, that's Ken. Hi, Ken. Hi, get, where's your, are you going to draw with me? I'm going to draw with you. Okay, here. I'm, I just got here. Look at my luggage. <clears throat> All right, let's set a, set a start. I've been talking these guys' ears off for t like two hours. I spend, it's obviously I spend way too much time at home by myself drawing, but I have you guys now, right? Okay, so we're gonna go for 15 minutes. Now I have no idea what I'm gonna draw tonight. S seriously, I, ha I don't have a clue. And I figured what I would do is I would let you guys help me decide what you wanted to draw, okay? Isn't that funny? You like that idea? You picked up your P209s. I just got a box of these. I ordered a box. I've never had a whole box before. I always go on two at a time for two for $13 at Office Depot, right? But I bought a whole box. Ah, now I now I have a plethora of pencils. I'll say that three times fast. You know what? This I don't know if this will work. Um, I'm gonna I'm trying to make it work. It's just gonna be a light. small. It's gonna be no, it's all right. It's just it's it's really small. It's kind of hard to draw. Wow, I wonder if I'm gonna be able to pull this off. I gotta pull it up further, so it's not in my face. It's 4.30 in Ireland. Are you still up white, Alfred? Alfred, do you, do you like have a night job or something? What are you up at 4.30 in the morning in Ireland for, really? Share with me here, we're all, we're all friends now, right? After 30, what, 34 days? By the way, welcome to our 90 days of drawing. Thank you. Uh, here, I'm going to try to move the clamp, guys. The table, he has a very nice table, but look, this is what I'm dealing with here, see? The table, the, the edge goes under, so I had to do my clamp coming around. It's just not, I think it'll be better if we do it like that. Yeah, sorry, guys. Here, I'm going to have my assistant. I'm going to have Anna, the amazing, and, oh, I just did something terrible. Here, will you hold that? Sure. And then, that's Anna. She's our MC now. And then we're, here we are, we're trying to figure this out. Isn't this fun? You get to see us live. <laughs> the behind the scenes. See, this is very high tech, isn't it? 
these guys are so nice. I uh, I showed up, uh, oh, like at two o'clock at the airport, and I had I had to clamp it. My luggage got delayed by four hours, and yeah, I so I had to wait there, and they're waiting for dinner for me. So I finally got my luggage, but then I couldn't get my rent from my rental car. Oh, did you guys guess what what rental car is? Is it sticking? Now just hold it for me for a second. Okay. And I'm gonna come around. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay. There. There you go. Perfect. All right. Now, can you get it more tight? Yeah. And this, this is quality tele uh, television, huh? Oh, I didn't shave or my hair's all in this. Oh no. Um, okay, that'll work. That's fine. That's good. Let's see. Let's see. And I think it won't. No. Oops. Does that work? I just ruined his chair. <laughs> Here, don't I have another? Wait. There's my uh, my tripod. Hold on. You're doing a fine job, man. <laughs> Look at this. People are, are online and they go oh, away. I know where there it is. See, I always carry a spare. Ah. All right. Let's do this. All right. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Back to Ann. Say thank you, Ann. That right there, folks, <laughs> is the definition of awesome Indian. All right, now, hold on a second here. I forgot how to do this. I should probably have worked this out before I went live. I thought it'd be really fun to go on without any planning at all. Oh, they're talking about the Super Bowl. They don't care about me. <laughs> Seriously, they're totally talking about the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, you guys. Where's your loyalty? That's hilarious. Well, all right. They, they just know that the first 10 minutes is just banter. So, oh, yeah, he's just, he's not going to get serious for 10 minutes. Oh, look at this. They're all talking. The whole Super Bowl seemed off commercials, the game. You know. Seriously? Seriously? We're talking about the Super Bowl during the during my drawing lesson? Is it, am I really that, like, off camera? Okay, you guys, okay, enough Super Bowl. Look, you have to help me decide. What are we going to draw tonight? Here's your choices. We're going to switch. You want to draw a dolphin? Okay, there's one choice. I'm just randomly picking pages. You ready? Dolphin? Okay, well not, maybe not quite randomly. Okay, no, I don't want to draw a kangaroo. Ooh, we can draw a cockatoo, a bird. What do you think, guys? All right, look at They're still talking about the Super Bowl. I'm going to have to reprimand you students. Draw a football field. I'm not gonna draw. I, I hate sports. <laughs> I shouldn't. I just publicly announced it. There goes. There goes like eighty percent of my audience. I, I just. You know. I respect. I guess I have to say that, right? To be politically correct. Oh, I respect the passion that they put into the game. But I mean, really. Uh, come on. Okay, we draw a robot. Didn't watch the fake Super Bowl. What are you drawing? I don't know what I'm drawing. I need you to help me. I need you guys to stop talking about the Super Bowl. And focus, focus, hello. Shark, you want to draw a shark? I, I want to draw things that aren't in, oh, we could draw uh, the Adventures of Genius Pickle. What do you think? I think that's it. <laughs> Is that it? The Adventures of Sh uh, Genius Pickle? Cockatoo looks great. I don't know. Uh, okay, there's a choice. We'll take a vote. <laughs> the Adventures of Genius Pickle, right there, or the cockatoo. Or this guy. What, where was the cockatoo? Oh, I can find it. Do, what, what do you want to do? Okay, I'm going to make executive decision. And all right, let's take. Oh, I'll take one more look at the cockatoo. Where was that? See this book? I haven't used it. This is the Imagination Station book. This is my subtle plug to go for you guys to go buy it because you love me, right? Right? And you want to support me and my my son, right? You know that big push I said, hey, you buy, remember last night when I was hacking and coughing? Oh, you, they all want cockatoo. Okay, we'll draw the cockatoo. Okay, okay. Oh, look at cockatoo, cockatoo, about eight, nine people. Okay, first of all, seriously, <laughs> you know I made that plea last night because I saw how much the uh, trailers are for my son. He he's wants to get a, a lawn trailer, right? They're like $2,000, right? So I'm going to set up a GoFundMe for my son's lawn, lawn equipment. But I figured, okay, I, I better start, you know, doing something creative. So I appealed to these guys last night. And I said, hey, if you guys support my, you know, 38 days drawing with me, if you value it, you know, throw me some love. Send me $50 on PayPal and I'll send you an original lesson drawing. I thought I would get 10 people right away. You got 20. <laughs> Not. 
I don't want to know. Okay, by the way, if you guys remember, it's still there. <laughs> the offer, that's my offer. $50 and you get original drawing, okay? No one's laughing. Give me a, a, a thumbs up or happy face if that was kind of a funny story. Is that, all right, no one's saying anything. Now I'm feeling very awkward. I'm very, very self-conscious. Or maybe maybe they're not responding because I'm not getting them fast. Here's the cockatoo right here. Okay, I got one thumbs up and I got one puzzled face. Someone's like, what? No, I seriously, this is what happens when I get around friends. I get so excited to talk to real people. <laughs> I spend way, way too much time alone. I do. I sit and I draw and I take care of the cats. And then, then Mario gets home from school. Then I get to hang out. And then I go to the trampoline house. Right? <laughs> then we go... Then we go and uh, use the leaf blower. We're gonna go to page 126. I'm looking for change. Oh, Lauren Brock is gonna, hey, I take credit cards, man, no problem. PayPal slash Mark Kiss, paypal.me slash Mark Kistler. Just in case, just in case you're being serious and not joking around. You get original drawing for $50 and a hug and a wash your car. Uh, what, remember, uh, what page? 126. Oh, thank goodness you're young and remember. Ken and I are good friends at Comic Cons all over the country. We bump into each other. And Anna's going to come to Emerald City and be my booth assistant. Hey. That's so cool. <laughs> and uh, May, May, Chicago for sure, C2E2. Mm -hmm. Awesome. You guys can come say hi to Anna. She's a full cosplay. She does full. What, <laughs> <coughs> what characters do you, do you cosplay? Uh, most recently, I did Jasmine from Aladdin. That was a good one. <laughs> so cool. Oh, my gosh. Okay, oh, fitting, fitting, okay, Ver Persian, okay, okay, now wait, uh, 120, I should, okay, what's the PayPal email, he's, Brian's actually going to do it, he's, like, they're actually, okay, I'm going to write, the, I'll write it down very slowly, but here, let me get some page, um, oh, squirrel, I know, I'm very ADD, 120, imagine me trying to get through high school, there you go, there oh, here go. it is, this is what we're going to draw, Okay. Remember I told you about Mike Krujulik? Have you heard about Mike Krujulik? Super famous. Uh, he did he did this penny did Penny Arcade for years. Billionaire and runs packs of Comic Cons and stuff. Well, he, at 14, uh, I hired him to ink all my stuff because he was so talented. And I, I set up a, I went, I was in up in, I think it was Portland or some, uh, some Pacific Northwest area. And I, I went to dinner with him and his mom and his parents, his dad, to make sure it was okay. And it's because he's 14. And, and so then I went home to uh, wherever I lived at that time, San Diego. And I mailed Mike Rahulik. And he and I talked. And with, his mom helped him get it all done. But he, a 14 year old did all the inking on that. Isn't that talented? <clears throat> so that's the story of my brush with the billionaire Mike Rahulik. I'm sure he remembers it and just, just loves me for it. In fact, I have his name in the front of the book. You guys are saying, oh, really? You don't know Mike Krahulik. His name is right in the front of the book. I'll show you, ye of little faith. Let's let's see here, shall we? Oops. Are you Come back. There we are. Hey, look, ready? My aunt was my administrative assistant. And who's number two? Mike Krahulik. He did Pan, Lincoln, and Cartooning. You see? And Shelly Hirsch. I haven't seen her name. She's a, a, a girlfriend. Heartbreak. Okay, turn, turn to page 126. Here we go. 90 days. 90 days. Bring them on camera. Who bring these guys on camera? There's there's Ken. Ken they're very tired for some reason. <laughs> we there's have a Ken, very exhausting And then night here's uh, um, Anna. That's what our, Just a, our wonderful, happy person there. Too. This one is not. I can't get it to stay, but I'm going to try, guys. Wish me luck. Oh, Lup believes me. Thank you, Lup. Appreciate it. Sorry, guys. I'm having a hard time technically. This is what happens. So now I'm, I'm learning. I was going to say, oh, it would be very exciting. Didn't I say it? Oh, it would be so exciting if I do this just raw with no, no, uh, no setup. Well, this is what happens. Nothing works. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. 90 days. Right, 90. 90 days. And then another 90. 
90 days, 90 drawings. I decided to go with that because everybody voted for that. And now we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw this guy right there. We're gonna draw that guy, the cockatoo. It's gonna be really neat. And I haven't done it for so long that I'm gonna look at the book and follow the book too. So I'm gonna start with the cock, the, the birds, the head. I'm gonna start very lightly, but you can't see if I move it up. Start at the top very lightly, whisper lines. Remember, we're drawing very, very light. Very, very light. Whisper, whisper. And then we're gonna draw the, the bird, the body. I'm gonna block in the body. I'm gonna draw the whole chest right here coming down. Draw the chest. And then I'm gonna draw the wing. I'm gonna have the wing, one wing coming up like this. Okay, off the back of his neck. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna flare it back. See that? Then I'm gonna just block it in. Good morning from Dublin, Ireland. Good to see you. Everybody, send me where you're from. Oops, I lost. I lost everybody. Sorry about that. Where are you from? Hi, Chris. How you doing? Send me, send me a, uh, send me a note. Did anybody see the pictures of me when I went to the Indian wedding? The official Indian wedding. I had that, that, uh, the kurta and the vest and it was all. Uh, it doesn't matter, guys. Landscape report, it absolutely is up to you. It doesn't matter. Uh, there's an S-curve. And um, did anybody see that? Someone tell me if you saw that post of me and they're, they're all talking about the Super Bowl game or they're not answering me. I, because I looked very beautiful in those, those photographs. Oh, that's funny, Rodney. He, Rodney said, oh, you don't have your phone. And he goes, shh. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting lines. Isn't that funny? I have some really funny, wacky, edgy friends. Rodney, you're, you're the wacky, edgy guy tonight. Every, we, every night we have a different wacky guy. Uh, excuse me. I made his eyes too big. I wasn't paying attention, but that's all right. <coughs> I'll live with it. Now, <coughs> excuse me. I was doing so good and I wasn't coughing and then now I'm starting to cough again. New Hampshire. Hi, guys. Hi, love. Hello from New Mexico. Who is that? Who's from New Mexico? Hi, Sherry. And uh, Judy is from Washington. Hi, Judy. Rodney, where are you from, you funny, wacky guy? Karen Walls from Michigan. Glendale, California from Lupp. Uh, Judy is asking about landscape or portrait, but it doesn't matter at all. Hello, Chris Pennington. And uh, we have Dublin, Ireland. There's Amanda. There's Kelly, there's Rodney. I think Mike is a big uh, okay. Dungeon Dragons guy. I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, there's Doreen. All right, let's get back into the drawing. See, I have so much fun messing around with these guys that I forget to draw. Okay, I'm gonna have the, this bird, I uh, put a little sock on him like this. This will be feathers for in a second. And there's gonna be one more back behind here. That's some ballers further away. Puerto Rico, hi Puerto Rico, hello Texas. Hello, artist. I'm going to draw his little legs coming out. These are size. It gets smaller as it moves away from you. Okay. I can see how Anna just really just jumped right into her drawing. Yep. She, she didn't. She's just, she's letting the art flow over here, which is a perfectly, <laughs> it's a perfectly acceptable response. She's a little overwhelmed by my, my over the top energy. She just, she, she doesn't understand. I'm being completely honest when I say I just freak out when I have real people to hang out with. Adults, real adults. <laughs> So I convert back to my high school years. I'm gonna draw kind of a real funky kind of little wild hairdo kind of thing going. And we'll clean that up in a second. Okay, well, now I'm gonna, we can add a lot more detail. It's gonna be really cool once we get the detail and the feathers going. We'll clean this up. You're gonna really like this, it's gonna be cool. The outlines are, are my least favorite. My least favorite part is just is the outline. My most favorite part is the detail and the shading. Hi, South Carolina. Tam now, get this, guys. This is ta her name, Tammy Don Lewis Pace. Isn't that cool? It's like you have to, you have a whole introduction, a whole line of people just to say, hi, hi, I'm Tammy Don Lewis Pace. I just love that. You have a very, you have to be really committed to a conversation. Introduce yourself. Here, let's draw. Yeah, I just can't just, I can't believe you just said that out loud. Can I do a lot of stream of conscious teaching and then I, when I watch it, I look back and I go, oh my gosh, I can't believe I said that. 
Okay, now, uh, there we go. You guys, we're getting the lines done. We're going to block in the, look at see, Tammy Dawn Lewis Pace just said LOL. See, <laughs> so she, Tammy, you're a good sport, and you you handle that very maturely. I'm proud of you. <laughs> She's like, I have no idea how old these people are. She's probably, what, Tammy, how old are you? See, now, in my household, uh, it was not impolite to ask what girl, my mom celebrated her age. She she was raging at 90, right? I mean, she had party. I mean, you know, parties, but yeah. I mean, she had, um, you know, if you, you know, call an art show and pretzels a raging party, but she, uh, she's had so much energy and she celebrated growing older. And so I had a very skewed idea of what was socially acceptable when it came to uh, women in our culture and age. And so still at 55, I still ask women, I forget. I said, also, and how old are you? Like I just did for Tammy's 51. See? Tammy, thank you. Well, some people think it's so rude in our culture. And I was going to ask Anna, so what about your culture? Anna was born in Ohio. So, no, where, where were you born? Chicago. Oh, Chicago. <laughs> okay. She was born four hours from Ohio. Okay. I'm going to draw some, but now I'm going to look and put another row of, of wings. Okay, I did dedicated. I'm sitting in ER with hubby. What? You're in an emergency room? Are you a nurse or did your hubby get hurt? Or, or do you not do? You, are you kidding? That was not, not probably an opportune time to say a joke. I was going to say, are, are you, do you need us to call 911? But you're already in the emergency room. Are you all right? What's going on? Now you got me totally on edge here. Are you a nurse and you're just doing, you're taking a break? Or. Are you there for some terrible reason? Oh, no. I'm sorry. He has chest pain. Well, that got real, really fast. Well, is he drawing with this? Is this, this will help him get his blood pressure, you know, help him get his rhythm. I'm so sorry. Tammy, what's your husband's name? She's laughing, so obviously you're not... You're not, uh, you know, a wreck there. But you got to be a wreck. You're, oh, I see. You're, you're, uh, you're, what do you do? What is that called? You're overreacting with jolliness to cover up your anxiety. So good for you. You keep overreacting. Uh, so, Tam, what's his name, Tammy? Mike. Okay. It says Mike there. Can he hear us? Okay. Everybody send Mike. There we go. Send Mike the little prayers. There were signs. Everybody send, send Mike little, little kissies. Send him, send Mike some love. Everybody send him a little love, little kissy kissy. I don't see any kissy kisses. Come on, hello. <laughs> okay, I'm drawing cock. Okay, yeah, look at put the shadows. Come on, someone send hearts or something. Look at nothing. There's one. Thank you. They're very quick to respond to me. You see that? <laughs> I have them in the palm of my hand. You know, has such control. Oh, Tammy, does he does he hear us? Look, Mike. Dude, sorry about the chest pain. I've been there. I've been. I've done that, dude. It's called raising teenagers. If look at uh, Alfred sending positive energy and blessings from Dublin. Mike. Okay, I'm gonna put. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna add something here. I'm gonna put a little under wall right here. So, Mike, are you all hooked up to EKGs and IVs and? Like every cord and wire and battery and all that? Or are you uh, just kind of hanging out waiting for the meds to hit? What's going on, man? You got you can't leave us hanging here. I think we should video. I think we should split through, split screen with you guys. Make sure he's okay. Make sure he's just chilling. Catching your breath. Okay, Sarah Hall. Sarah, you missed out. Mike's in the ER room. We're all sending him love and support. And we're waiting to see uh, if he's just chilling and getting ready for a discharge or they're monitoring him or what. We're a tight-knit family, a tight-knit group of uh, creatives here. Okay, now, this is the back wing right back here. See? Okay, thumbs up here. Now, watch this. Now, wait, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. That is, that just doesn't look right, does it? Now this is what what's what happens when you have when you're working with a pencil. You can erase it. See, 
I don't know. I can actually pick it up, and my, my camera's just wobbling, guys. It's it's not tightening at all. Oh, oh, there you go. Sorry, guys. Oh, there, that, there's the solution right there. I had to, I had to tighten. Sorry. There we go. I had to tighten the, the thing. Um, I don't know. I don't like that. I'm going to try something else. I want to see something here. What well, would be if I went through and did that? No. No. I don't like that either. So, but maybe I just make it need to hide it more. Let's see. See, we're just trying to. We're just going to figure it out. We just keep going back and forth. We could. I'm using my phone to share this with you, but I could. Uh, if I wasn't on the phone, I would Google images and I would see wings and I would find some different different wings and and uh, check it out. Okay, okay, there we go. I was just going too far with it. That's what that see that see the issue. See, did you guys see what I'm talking about? I had pulled it too far down and visually it didn't make sense. If it has to visually intellectual, what, uh, what, what there's a word I use and it's late and I'm kind of trying to think of it. It's like intellectually with your brain, you have to visually understand. It has to make sense. And if it doesn't make sense, then do it over again. Uh, sometimes when I was younger and uh, um, uh, students do this a lot, is they'll invest so much time and attention and care into a drawing that they'll they'll just struggle to make something work when it's there's no way it can work. It's just visually impossible. It can't, and it's not cool like an MC Escher kind of wrong. Oh no, that doesn't work, but it looks cool. It's wrong, and it just it just looks wrong. So that's usually my motto. I teach the kids: if you're drawing to you, you're the artist. If it looks wrong, it is wrong. Okay. If it looks right, it's right. It's totally uh, relative and pertains to your point of view. Does that make sense, Ken? Yes. That looks like a, kind of a rooster kind of uh, hat there, doesn't it? Okay, I'm going to put <coughs> some fur down his belly. I'm going to work on the legs. Is that... Uh, that's that's kind of okay. Kind of okay. I've got to shade this these numbers here. Does anybody have a time for me? I guess I can look. No, I can't. All the above, no meds yet. Well, Tammy, we're all here. We're thinking about you guys. And in all seriousness, we're we're sending you guys tons of love. Can you feel it? We're just you're just you're getting we're sending you just truckfuls, truckfuls of bubbles of love, okay? I hope you guys can sense that. Even from Ireland. Twenty-eight minutes. All right, well, this is a long one. But now we have to hang out a little bit longer and make sure that Mike's okay. Hey Tammy, uh, send me a send me a poster and email. Let me know how Mike's doing. All right, and then let's uh, come on down here. I'm gonna draw the this tail and uh, curve it. Let's draw and chill. Thanks, we can, but we're good. We're chill. Okay, we're drawing and chilling. I'm with you. I am with you. Chilling and drawing. Me and my friends. Me and Ken. My good buddy, I've been waiting months to come over here, and his kids aren't here right now, or they'd be like, ah! Oh, yeah. And then Anna, my favorite from India. I say that to every person. <laughs> I mean, oh, you're my favorite from India. From India. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to draw you. Like, he's he's reaching down. I'm going to put a couple claws here. That's the back claw and a couple claws. Hi, Bradley. Um, okay, I have 20... I have 20, um, I'm going to draw, I think I'll draw a tree trunk. I, I, I like that tree trunk. I think I like that, so. Kind of branch it off here. I'm going to, I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to put a, um, a knot hole right here. Like he's looking at a, like a little worm. Maybe a little worm's coming out. A little worm startled. A little worm's going. Oh no! Ah! Uh. And this bird's going. Excuse me. How do I get to somewhere? What? What would be a funny bubble there? Excuse me. 
How do I get to the... You guys, give me that. Give me the sentence. Help me finish that sentence. He, his guy's a little balloon. Excuse me. And then he's like, oh, no, don't eat me. And he's just stopping for some directions. Oh, how, well, that's funny. Brian says, uh, oh, Lup says the ER. That's funny and totally inappropriate, but kind of funny. Thanks, Mike. And, um, oh, to visit Mike. Okay, now she made it. I was like, oh, gosh, edgy, but then she's very sweet. You see, I have to give you time to explain your humor. Oh, got it. Uh, Brian said, uh, excuse me, how do you get to the tree station? And then uh, Brian said, how do you get to the best salad bar? Funny, funny, funny. Okay. So now we get our stompy going here. Uh, oh, by the way, okay, back to the contest. Back to the contest. I've had 20 so far. If no one else sends me emails, uh, Remember I said I'm going to send 30 prizes out, a bunch of books, a bunch of artwork, a um, bunch of uh, these originals. Oh, you, you guys, uh, you really wanted to know the PayPal address to be my faithful supporting artist, didn't you? I should have done it when I had like 30 people on here. Now I have like three left. Oh, wait, let me give you my PayPal connection. So it's uh, www, and I hope I do it right here. Um, oh, what is it? Uh, I think it's double w w paypal. What if I do it wrong? Paypal dot me slash Mark Kessler. Pretty easy, right? Is it paypal dot com? Oh, paypal dot com dot me. I don't know if it's dot me. I never heard of dot me. I can't remember. I think it's. I think that's it. Try that. You'll see a picture of me and Mario on it. And uh, remember, if you send fifty bucks plus five dollars for the shipping, I'll send you an original. Lesson drawing, I'll sign it. I'll write all kinds of wacky stuff on it to inspire you to keep practicing drawing. And I appreciate the support. I'll send you one without a little sales note saying, or I'll write, thanks for the 50, and then, you know, you know blow you a kiss or something. But thank you. I appreciate it. I'm a working artist. And uh, I do, do, do appreciate your support so much. I love doing these lessons. I love doing these lessons every day. Day, what day is it? Someone help me. I, don't, I forgot. Forgot to do it. Ha! <laughs> great, great. That's all right. Whenever you, whenever you want. Um, I appreciate it. And then, of course, here. Here's my books. Make sure you buy my books, Imagination Station. Get the whole collection. Like a lot of you have the whole collection. Uh, you can draw in 30 days. Drawing in 3D. Uh, you can draw in 30 minutes. Remember, if you want to get the uh, uh, the membership for the Draw 3D class, there's 300 lessons. We keep adding more all the time. We've had it for 10 years, 50,000 members. Uh, this is the 50% discount code. It's day, 44, day 34, guys. Write that down. Day 34. <coughs> Bam. Coming up Tuesday, we're going to have a special uh, one-hour live webcast, 7 p.m., probably from Denny's because it's funny. And it was just the funniest place I can think of to meet the family to do a live webcast. The Bloombergs, he was so cool. He donated $500 to my nonprofit fund, and he's that pays for a bunch of kids and a bunch of supplies and part of a teacher's airfare. And so thank you so much for that. You guys... Hey, Greg, forget forget the 50. Send me 500 bucks to do one of these. Right there. There's the PayPal. Ooh, there we go. Just add another zero, Greg. Just a, just a, just one more digit. Come on. You love me? Huh? You love me, right? All right. Well, hey, guys, thank you so much. Thank you for being so patient with my funny, irreverent humor tonight. I'm in rare form, I know. I'm just so happy to be with my good friends out here. Oh, it's fun. I'm going to be visiting uh, Children's Hospital tomorrow. Remember, if you have a children's hospital in your city that you would like me to visit, and when I'm visiting children's hospitals, I really prefer to uh, just do a, um, just to visit, uh, you know, five five or six uh, families, about 20 minutes per family per room for the kids who are doing their blood transfusions and chemotherapy, and just to hang out and chill and draw with them. And it, it, it it's really fun, and it's a nice, it helps to, uh, distract the kids and the families 
get uh, get some joy out of it. Um, however, if they do have a big room in the hospital, like tomorrow the hospital in Minneapolis, they have a big learning center. So we're going to, maybe I'll go live. Maybe, I don't know what the rules are, privacy rules there. I'm pro I don't know if I'll be able to go live. I just realized that. But I'll do it in the, in the, uh, in the center, we'll be doing a big children's program, and then they're going to uh, w feed out webcast into the individual rooms. So that'll be cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you. There's a, that's a for 90 days, 90 days, a little cockatoo. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for staying with me for like 38 minutes. I want to thank my dear friend, Ken. I love you, man. And then just wonderful, my new girlfriend. <laughs> I love you. You're so awesome. Okay, you guys are great. Thank you, guys. You're wonderful. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye, everybody.